Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new changes that Microsoft has made available on Windows 11 build 22489. This preview is available on the dev channel and while the changes are not tied to any specific release of Windows 11, they're expected to arrive in the next feature update. Some of the improvements may even appear in future updates of the current version. So here's what's new on Windows 11 build 22489. First, this flight introduces a new your Microsoft account page in the account settings. But since it is only available for a limited number of users, I have to show you a screenshot from Microsoft. As you can see, the new page displays your Microsoft account subscription information, including details about your Microsoft 365 subscription, quick access to history, payment details, and Microsoft rewards. In this update, Microsoft is also adding other tweaks to the settings app. For example, on the apps section, you will now notice that the apps and features page is now divided into two new pages, including install apps and the advanced app settings. But you're not getting new features, they're just separating the settings. So now when you go to install apps, that's where you will find all your installed apps. You can still uninstall them and see what you have installed on the system. But what's interesting is now that on the top right, we get options to change the view of the entries. Which I guess it makes it easier to uninstall the apps or view them if you have a lot of them installed on the computer. For example, if we have the normal view, the install option is hidden right here in the menu, but if you change the view, you get it right here. And you will know more clearly which app you can remove from the system. Also, on the optional features page, nothing has changed on the actual page, but if you but if you try to install the uh, connect app feature, you will not find it anymore because now it has been renamed to wireless display. Windows 11 build 22489 also adds support for discovery of design resolvers or DDR, allowing the system to discover encrypted DNS configurations from a DNS resolver known only by its IP address. As a result, when you try to enable DNS over HTTPS, it will now look a little bit different. As you can see now, you can type the preferred DNS address that you want to use and to enable DNS over HTTPS or DOH, you have different options, manual template and automatic template. If you want to learn more about this new feature, I will be leaving a link in the video description to find more information. In addition to all these changes, build 22489 also includes a few known issues and other fixes under the hood. But overall, this is all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.